Hello and welcome to episode 4 of the adventures of Keridwen. This episode is entitled Keridwen Meets a Good Listener. After hearing the news that her family were safe and well, Keridwen made her way from the Holy Well at Finn and Beris and continued her search with a new spring in her step as if she was once more as carefree as a little lamb. By evening, she had arrived at a lake called Hin Padan. The humans had all gone home, so Keridwen was able to follow the path by the lake, stopping every so often for a drink. She was sipping at the lakeside at sunset, when something that looked like a bird whizzed past dipping and diving over the water. What kind of bird are you? Keridwen asked. What makes you think I'm a bird? came the squeaky reply. Have you never met a bat before? As a squeaky voice settled on the branch of a tree next to where Keridwen had been drinking. She was surprised to see it hanging upside down. So, said the bat, what brings you here? You can tell me anything, because I am a good listener. Look at my ears, he said. Keridwen could see that the bat's ears swiveled round in several directions. The bat then breathlessly continued, my hearing is much better than humans, he said. For instance, can you hear the owls? Yes, replied Keridwen. Some humans don't listen properly, continued the bat. They think that the owls are saying twit and twoo. But if you listen carefully, the girls' owls are calling out kiwik and the boys let them know where they are by saying along hoo 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 As you can see, bats find their way in life by being good listeners. I try not to speak when others are speaking. It's not easy at first, especially if I'm excited and can't wait to talk about something. And the chatty bat finally realised that poor Keridwen had hardly got in a word and said, but now it's time for you to talk. So Keridwen told her story about the farm where she had been born, about the twins, about going up the giant's mountain and meeting the mountain hare Stella, she shared the sadness of returning to find that the family had disappeared from the farm and how her search had begun and led her here with the help of new and wise and helpful friends. True to its word, the bat had listened carefully while Keridwen was talking. You really are good at listening, said Keridwen. It's nice to be able to talk about something important without being interrupted or ignored. Keridwen paused before adding, I beg your pardon, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Keridwen. May I know your name? she asked politely. I'm Bruce, replied the bat. It was then that Keridwen realised that Bruce spoke with an Australian accent and she thought to herself it must have something to do with the fact that he hangs upside down. Bruce then said, if you follow my advice you will keep searching, even if it takes much longer than you expect. And if you pay attention 
to what your senses are telling you, you will notice lots more things. And another lesson I have learnt, Bruce added, is that if I listen with my heart as well as my ears, life can become clearer, kinder and more hopeful. As for you sheep, of course, he continued, you rely much more on seeing things. Bruce was right, because sheep do indeed have very good eyes. Bruce added, you can also see with the heart, so look after your heart as well as your eyes. And with that, Bruce was off. Although it was now too dark for Coedwen to see where he went. So she turned her eyes to the sky, just as the moon appeared from behind a cloud. And as she said thank you for another encouraging day, she drifted off to sleep with a poem for company. So, yet another friend for Kevin when this time Bruce, the Babat, who showed he was a good listener, who advised Kevin when to make good use of her senses and to connect the use of her senses with her heart. No wonder a sheaf fell to sleep that night. A poem came to her. And as with the previous episodes, I would be inviting you, if you wish, to make a poem about the kind of dream Gerwin might have had that night. So until the next episode, once again, thank you for listening.